With so many plugins all over the place within the WordPress ecosystem, you have to use the exact same default collection of plugins each time you start a new project within WordPress. So you have to get a default WordPress stack. And in this video, I want to share with you my default WordPress stack talking about plugins of course but there will be a few surprises so here are my top seven plugins for wordpress seven plus one bonus number one is a very obvious one but you need uh, something to build the website from scratch so you either use the native blocks within WordPress or you use a page builder. So I don't use a page builder by default. A page builder would be needed for more advanced projects, but the default uh, plugin I use is Cadence Blocks, which is just a set of features and blocks you add within WordPress blocks uh, called Gutenberg, and you use it just to build your website from scratch in a very visual way. And you don't need to know anything about coding anything very technical it's very easy to to get started so uh, cadence blocks is a very simple plugin that you install for free then you can go into one of your page and you click on the block inserter just right here and you can add any block you want you also have the brand new form blocks so if i scroll down you have the form here which is a form made of blocks so I just recently did a video about this block specifically and the new release of Cadence Block 3.1. So I recommend you to check this latest video and uh, otherwise just just use the blocks, just copy and paste any block you want. And you can also use the design library and you can get any type of patterns of pages you want. Here you also have plugins where you can, uh, where you will be able to insert a whole website from scratch without doing any work. The plugin is called Cadence Starter Templates if you want to check it out. So this is a basic first plugin I will install on every project to start from scratch. A new website, either a very simple brochure website, even an e-commerce website, a listing website, I will start with Cadence Blocks. Just so you understand, I'm not completely new about WordPress. I'm doing tutorials for years and years and I've done, I've done so many websites. I have years of experience, so of course you are in the right place. The second plugin I want to show you is the admin and site enhancements, which is what I call an all-in-one plugin. And all-in-one plugins are a new generation of plugins where you can just grab every features you want from just tiny little plugins here and there. And you gather all these features and needs into one single Swiss knife. So this is what I call uh, all-in-one plugins. The main, the best one is uh, right now admin and site enhancements. And I also did a video about this specific plugin. Uh, this video will get the most views of my channel. So if you want to check it out, uh, you will, I will go in detail into this plugin for you in this video. A link will appear into the video. Next up is Rank Math SEO. So if you want to do SEO, if you want the most full featured SEO plugin of the, on the market right now, even in the free version, you can check out Rank Math SEO. I think it's the best SEO plugin right now, but also, you know, it's because it's a market and we have so many different SEO plugins. I don't think the other plugins are, are bad or are not good. They're all good and just keep in mind that an SEO plugin don't do the work for you. You still have to do the work, right? So you still need to do SEO. It's just like it's called here. It's a Swiss knife and it's like an assistant for you because you have scores, you have also different features that are very important. But uh, anyway, in any case, you can use Yoast SEO, you can use all-in-one uh, SEO, you can use Rock math, like I suggest you do, but in any scenario, you would still need to do the job. So rock math right now, it's maybe the most popular and trendy SEO plugin in the market. And I think it's the best one for me and it works in a very modular way. So if you are into the advanced mode, just check if you are into the advanced mode and not the easy one. And then you have all the different features in a very modular way. So if you want to turn on and off the different modules into uh, the plugin, you can. And you have some very important basic features like redirections. So you don't need a specific plugin for redirections. If you use RankMans, let's say, you will also be able to generate a sitemap. 
you will have some features like an SEO analyzer for your website. You have more features like for WooCommerce, obviously, and you have many, many more uh, if you wander into the general settings, title and meta and so on. So I recommend you check out Rockmas SEO. The next plugin is WP Vivid. So you obviously, absolutely, it's very critical. You need a, a backup plugin in all of your WordPress projects. So you have you need a default one. It can either be this one or another one. Another one would be a draft plus. You have so many more plugins regarding backups but the one I used by default for me and the right I would recommend to anyone that watch this video it's obviously WP Vivid you also have some staging options if you want to do some staging sites and you have like image cleanup also but what I want to focus on in this video is just to have a backup plugin so of course you install the plugin then you can very quickly generate a backup by clicking on backup now you don't have to do anything else just come here and click on backup now and you will have a local backup so eventually i recommend you to also set up a remote storage so that your backup is not stored at the same place as your website just in case you get into any trouble uh, if you lose your website let's imagine let's pretend you can use you lose your website you would lose your backup also if it's local if it's stored locally so i recommend at first the very first time you install this plugin that you click on backup now you will have your very first backup and then very quickly you should schedule your backup so that it happens completely automatically and you should also set a remote storage i did a video on my channel again so i will link to my previous video about the full setup of wp vivid and everything regarding backups in wordpress so you can have many different layers seven layers I shared to you in a previous video about backups. The next plugin is Fluent SMTP and it's not a very important plugin. If you install admin insight enhancement, you should know that there is already an SMTP feature inside this plugin. So you don't need to install Fluent SMTP. But if you want to have a plugin that focus on getting your emails from your WordPress website out of spam inbox, uh, from your users, uh, you need an SMTP plugin. So it can be either admin and site enhancement plugins, or you can use Fluent SMTP, which is by far the best option in the market now. So you will have more features regarding SMTP. You will be able to connect also different services to mass send emails, you know, so to bulk send, sorry. So you have Amazon SES, Send in Blue, which is uh, another name now. Now it's not Send in Blue, I don't remember. SendGrid, Mailgun, and so on. And this type of plugin is very important, if especially if you want to do email marketing from your website and also if you have a WooCommerce installation into your website because WooCommerce send emails to your clients and you need these emails to be received into the primary inbox of your uh, clients of course and you, you don't want to get into spam so you need to set up this type of plugin it's very important so you have to get at least one like fluent smtp in your default stack the next step is not really a plugin even though you need a plugin to connect this service to your wordpress websites but it's rather a service and the service is called manage wp manage wp is a platform where you can manage all your different WordPress websites. So let's say you have two, three, five, 10, 15 websites. At some point, it's maybe too much to, to deal with uh, because you need to log into each website, do the updates and so on. And you can have one centralized place uh, which are platforms like ManageWP, for instance. And to me, it's the best platform right now to deal with this. So if you want to have one platform to cope with many different WordPress websites, updates, backups, and so on, ManageWP is my go-to solution. So it looks like this right now. I use just a few different websites just to check out how this works. I don't have tons of websites to deal with right now, but I have a few. All of them are in French. And as you can see, uh, you have many, many different features. So if I go into one of these, uh, the dashboard of one of my websites, I have something for plugins. I can deal with 
plug um, so for backup sorry I can deal with plugin then plugins means I can deactivate plugins from here from this dashboard or I can update plugins same for themes I can add new users add new user for instance I can add a new admin user from here from manage WP I also have some features for security for 404 links uh, this is called the link monitor I also have some performance features as well as the, an uptime monitor, which is uh, very, very handy. So I recommend you maybe to turn on the uptime monitor. You have many, many premium upsells within ManageWP, but you have also a lot for free. So you should check out ManageWP if you have, let's say, more than three or four websites. Last up is Code Snippets. So it's a very important plugin if you need to insert snippets of code. So this is for more advanced users, but if you need to insert uh, PHP code and not just PHP, uh, I recommend you to not uh, create a child, child theme because usually child theme is just an overkill so solution. You can just deal with all the snippets of codes you want with a plugin like Code Snippets. It's not the only one. They all look like the same, but this one is perfect to me. I use it for years and this is also my default stack if I need to just tweak something into the website with maybe some CSS or PHP. I use code snippets. The last plugin I want to share is in regards to people who are not English-based countries. If you have a website in French, like me, because I have a French accent, that's pretty obvious, but also in German or any language you want, well, usually we want to be able to translate some strings somewhere into our website, either in the blog part or in the e-commerce part for WooCommerce and so on. So you need a plugin for that. Well, I have one, which is the most obvious one in WordPress ecosystem. Of course, it's local translate, but local translate is not very, very useful, I guess, for English based websites, but for any other websites in any other language, you need to be able to uh, translate anything in any plugins or your themes or anything in regards to your website. So you need local translate for that working pretty well. If you don't need it, I recommend you to not install this plugin because it can suck performance out of your hosting. But other than that, if you need this plugin, well, just use it. I use it pretty much all the time for French websites. So you are very lucky if you work in English because you don't need to cope with that. And here we are. These are my default plugins. I use seven plugins plus one bonus, which is local translate, obviously. So now you can uh, just tell me into the comment section what plugin do you use into your different WordPress projects and we can just talk about that into the comment section so uh, let me know and I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new and I would encourage you to subscribe to this channel if it's not done already and I will see you into the next WordPress video bye